Yes, and we are back with some more wine in the morning as promised. My name is Bai Moses, or it's Bai Mo on social media. Remember, our social media handles are right there below the screen. And we have a question on Twitter and Facebook. So head straight there uh, to be part of the conversation. And the question is simple. Do you think the guys or influencers who are paid to tweet uh, for free or to tweet uh, something real? Not necessarily true, uh, and living uh, honestly. So tell us if you think that is a way to earn a living honestly posting, being an influencer on social media. Please uh, be sure to interact with us. We'll be sampling your views and comments towards the end of the show. So we are back with the Moke. And you were telling me a very interesting story about, uh, about when you joined school and how you decided you were going to leave. Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, I basically felt like engineering isn't mm -hmm. for me uh -huh. i if i i couldn't stay in school for five years then uh -huh. i definitely couldn't do engineering for uh -huh. life uh -huh. yeah and i love living purposefully mm -hmm. so i decided to go into youtube and look up video directing and editing mm -hmm. and learn the basics mm -hmm. and three months down the line i was like i, I was doing a good job a good job mm -hmm. according to people mm -hmm. Uh, on my Instagram, people were commenting mm -hmm. on videos. This was actually your first time to pick up a camera? Yeah. That, my first video, I shot my first video with my phone. Mm -hmm. It was a Samsung S9. Mm -hmm. And then I sent it to some, to some guys on Instagram. How did he edit the video? Come again? Uh, after shooting on your phone. Yeah. Well, how did you edit the video? I used Premiere Pro. On your phone or on a computer? On a computer. It's on a, a computer. computer software. All right. All right. Yeah. So uh, you edited, you recorded, you used your phone to record, yeah. and then you edited on your phone. And then this is the, the, the piece that you shared out with the people. What was it about the uh, video? It wasn't, not, it, it wasn't something big. Uh -huh. It was just a cinematic B roll of Village Market. Uh -huh. uh, it's just taking shots of people, of uh -huh. stairs, uh, day to day buying, activities uh, of, uh, of a mall setting. Yeah. All right, so uh, what provoked this? Like, what, what made you just try to experiment with that as your first piece? Was it random or was it planned? It was very random. Uh -huh. Like, I, I think I'd gone to fix my phone mm -hmm. at Village Market. Then mm -hmm. after it was fixed, I was testing the camera mm -hmm. and, and, and sat down and, and thought, ah, maybe I can... Cameras aren't exactly allowed at the mall, mm -hmm. but you can use your phone. Uh -huh. So I just thought I could, I could just could do move something. around and do Celebrating do the, 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 the comeback of your phone yeah. yeah. after the repairs. All right, I'm trying to imagine the conversation with your parents, telling them you, uh, you want to quit engineering and get into film. How was it like? I didn't tell them uh, immediately. I... I, I decided to defer first because uh -huh. I, I, I couldn't like quit quit. Uh -huh. I, de I deferred first and uh -huh. a month into deferment, my, uh -huh. my parents didn't know. Uh -huh. Then I talked to a friend and uh -huh. then he was like, oh, you have to tell your dad, you have to tell your parents, you can't, uh -huh. you can't do this. Yeah, and, uh -huh. and I, I came back and thought, okay, okay, maybe this I, is should, important, I, should, yeah. I, should, yeah, I should tell them. So uh -huh. I, sat them, I sat them down and told them, uh, this is this is some of the work I've been doing. Mm -hmm. this is, these are the reviews from professionals that do the work that I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. and, and they they were like, "Are you sure? Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have money." And I'm like, "It's not like I'm going to make money the five years I'm in school, so mm -hmm. I might as well start now and maybe I might mm -hmm. make a buck in mm -hmm. like two years or something." Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so that is okay how now. you sat your parents down to explain to them. Yeah. All right, uh, considering uh, where you're coming from, did you, <coughs> did you like feel the disappointment in them? Did you feel like they, f they felt disappointed? My dad, yeah. Uh -huh. My mom, my mom, uh, my dad was disappointed uh -huh. because everyone's going to school. Why, <laughs> why don't you want to go to school? Right. And, and you know, it, I think, uh, there's a certain pressure parents have mm -hmm. with their peers. Uh -huh. Like when you have uh, a certain parent has their kid going to, to uh -huh. university, 
everyone in church has the kids going to university. Yeah, so, so there's that parent pressure, yeah, that when they peer pressure with, among the parents. Yeah, when they meet up with fellow parents, uh -huh. they're, they're talking, hey, how's your son doing in school? And Boy. I'm, uh, so my da <laughs> that's like awkward. Because they like, have nothing to say. Son, your dad is just son. trying to imagine what he's going to be saying when he's asked son, that question. And, and people, people from that time don't uh -huh. know YouTube, uh -huh. so you can't go tell other people that. Uh, my son is learning from the internet. It just <laughs> sounds, it's like, it sounds crazy. Yeah. Sounds crazy. So you understand uh, the plight of your parents. You understand where they're coming from. Yeah, and this understanding is very important. Yeah. This is what brought you guys together and brought you guys to come to an understanding and let you do what you're doing today. Actually, right. the pressure that my parents are in right now mm -hmm. from the society, mm -hmm. that I, I know the society is probably like, how can you let 